welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make horns. See these horns? Horns, horns, you guys see them? Double horns, monster horns, however horns, whatever horns you guys want to make. But specifically, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make these kind of horns. All you need are three simple things, which is poly dough. And this poly dough in particular that I got at Amazon come with these little shading things that you just add one or two into your poly dough and it becomes this color. I'll explain to you it in the video. You're gonna need super boiling hot water and instead of a blow dryer like I used last time for my tea tutorial, we are gonna use just a simple lighter. Woo! If you're curious on how I did this makeup, you can go ahead and click the little link up here and it's gonna show you that tutorial on this beautiful cut, crease, glitter, liner, flawless makeup look, whatever, however you wanna say it. Anyways, enough of me talking and let's figure out how I made these inexpensive horns. First thing we wanna do is grab our poly dough and some preheated hot water. This I microwaved it for three minutes, so it's extremely hot. I'm gonna grab some poly dough. As you can see, it is white, just dumping it into the water. I'm actually gonna grab a little bit more because I'm gonna be making two horns. No, one, two. I actually used both of these before, but like I said, luckily for this part, it is reusable. I'm also gonna drop in one of these black beads. So, because I am putting the black beads in there, they might not be reusable because they are turning black. But it's okay, because I'm always gonna use horns. So, I'm just gonna apply, I'm gonna put like three in there. I never use the colorful beads that are in the package. They have several, they have black, they have like a dark green, blue, I don't know why they have white, yellow, and red, which is super cool too because you can all go ahead and put two colors together. You can make pink, you can make purple, you can make, I don't know, other colors. So like I said, right now they're white, but we're just gonna wait until it turns transparent and until it turns black because I am making black horns. <laughs> so let's just wait. So now that the poly dough is looking transparent and super multiple, I'm gonna grab some tweezers and just pick off a little piece now I'm just gonna mold it. It is gonna be hot, but not too hot that you can't blend it or mold it, blend it. So now I'm just mixing up that one piece of black poly dough that I put in it. You, if you guys don't have um, the coloring for it, you can just use like some black eyeshadow, some black lipstick, um, maybe a black marker, I'm not too sure. And now I'm just gonna start molding this into a horn, although I feel like this is probably a little too small, let me see. I'm gonna start molding it. So instead of grabbing a blow dryer, I'm just gonna grab a lighter, because it's already, because it's heat, <laughs> because it's already, no, because it has heat on it, because it is a lighter. And I'm just pressing this against the poly dough and now that it's getting clear, meaning that I can start blend, I can start remolding it before it dries up. And now I'm gonna start building some horns, making the bottom as flat as you can. And these horns aren't gonna be perfect because I'm making demonic horns. And like you said, if it starts getting too hard, go back with the lighter or just dip into the hot water leave it there for probably like 30 seconds or probably even less because it's already getting super duper moldable again <laughs> and there now it's nice and flat it's crazy how the color ended up happening it's like black at the bottom and as it's going up it kind of ombres to like a gray color so this this works good for me so i'm just gonna put it right here yeah that's perfect for me. Now I wanna add some creases onto my horn so that way when I actually start painting it or adding blood or whatever, it's gonna have like some really cool 3D effect. So I'm gonna start off on um, one side and I'm just gonna add a little bit of heat on it till it's nice and glossy. Because when it's glossy, that means I'm able to mold it. I'm gonna grab some, some scissors and I'm just gonna add some lines on it just to give it some detailed work. 
just like that. So just a little bit of openings. So when I do start adding like blood or any other color, the blood would just like drip down. And it's just gonna give it like a really cool like 3D effect. You guys don't have to do this. It's just because I wanna be a little bit more creative and detailed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side. I'm not going way too close to the first line that I did. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just add another line right here. Oop. And I'm just gonna continue doing this until I feel like the detail work is well for me. Going back with some plain scissors, you guys can go ahead and use like a safety pin, bobby pin. You guys can even go in with like a small like knife. Small knife will do actually, yeah, small knife will do. And I even went ahead and made the tip kind of crooked like that. So I don't know if you guys can tell. See how I made like the lines right here? A little more lines right here. Just little lines, like they're not too crazy. Nothing really too crazy. But they're gonna look fucking wild. Totally forgot to mention, when it's time for you to apply these babies, all you need is liquid latex. Just add a thin layer of liquid latex onto your, what are these called again? Horns, and then add a thin liquid latex onto your head. Let it dry out for about 30 seconds, and then right when it's nice and tacky, you just apply it, and boom, they will stick perfectly fine. Or you can go ahead and also use spirit gum. Just add a small layer on top of here, small layer on top of your head, or wherever you want to place it. Put them together, leave it there for about less than 30 seconds, and then they'll stick. All right, guys, so I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks on how to make these horns you could go ahead and use any color i just wanted to use black i've seen people use red or they leave them clear and they just want to color them with alcohol paint or water-based paint which is easier to clean off and just reuse them that way but i was just gonna stick with black because i'm pretty sure majority of my horns are gonna be black Ooh, although dude look at like one's like gray the other one's like gray black so i'm probably gonna have to do a little bit of shading and painting onto this or it probably won't even matter because there are gonna be blood on this but like I said, hopefully this tutorial helped you guys in a way to make horns or even other things that you guys want to make. I did some teeth not that long ago, so go ahead and check that one out. Although I did use a blow dryer and not a lighter, so maybe that will be helpful for guys who want to make horns and they don't have a blow dryer at home. If this tutorial did help you guys, make sure you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, then make sure you guys subscribe to see this face more often and to learn more tips and tricks of beauty and special effects. See you guys next time. Bye.